In 1990, there was a shooting here in our area, in our Roseland area. This, it's a heavy crime area. A lot of the kids don't have fathers. They're running around the streets. They're just getting in trouble. My vision was to make a difference. And I came up with the boxing program. We started in a two-car garage, to a three-car garage, to a 1,750 square feet. And then we got invited to come into the Salvation Army as a pilot program. And we've been here 10 years already. I came in with my dad when I was nine, and then I did some sparring, and I started training, and I just fell in love with the sport, and I started doing it every day. Jonathan went through some hard times that really set him back. I've been through so many struggles. When my mom died when I was 11, I felt like I was just gonna stop what I'm doing. I'd probably be outside with my friends all the time, like it's all drugs, gangs, and all this, but then I'm here training, doing what I have to do to get better. Losing uh, your mom is not something that you can forget in one year. I tell them, have an open heart to receive something inside. And if it's something good, let it blossom, let it move you, let it work inside of you because that's what you want. When these kids are in trouble, a lot of them come in and they let out their frustration on the bags. First we start off by warming up by doing high knees and then side to side. And then we'll kick it into the weights and then we'll hit outside, run four laps around the building and maybe go to the park. And then from there we can hit the bags and then we do some sparring. It's like a, a safe zone where they can come in and feel relaxed, let down their guard. They don't have to walk with an ego like they're doing out in the streets. And when they get out, they want to go home and take a shower and go to sleep because they let that tension out. They come here and they can connect with a role model male adult. I think that's the reason some of these kids stay with us for so long. And now they're coming back and becoming volunteers. So they're giving back to their community as well. I start boxing every weekend, start winning. I start entering tournaments. I was ranked number one at the age of uh, 16. Richard Lopez has done a lot for me and for my family. Instead of uh, Jonathan being out there in the streets, he's here with his dad. He's here training with us, helps me out here with the kids, and really focuses on Jonathan. I see him coming out of it more. I see him being strong, doing really good right now. I first won Junior Olympics. From then, I went on to win Silver Gloves. Just recently, I won Northern California, second regionals. So he's a young rising star right now. He's crafty in there. He has his own swag. Sometimes he steps out of the box. The biggest thing I probably would take away is the dedication. You can't be like, oh, I'm gonna do this one day, but I'm not gonna do it the rest of my life and just say I did it. I'm gonna try to get ready for the Olympics. From there, turn pro and see where I go from there. Hopefully get a future world title shot. When you come here, you have to embrace humility right away, especially the kids that come in with an ego. This is the way I look at boxing. I was a young kid in trouble, and a minister reached out to me, and a coach reached out to me. It let me realize that you want to work out physically, mentally. Once you get those two, you feel good, but there's something missing, and that's the spiritual part. What these kids really need today is a spiritual balance in life. When they do that, they're going to start seeing things different. They're going to see that the sky's the limit. If you want to do the workout, you can do something today in life and be successful. If boxing doesn't work out, I plan on becoming a detective, so I have a backup plan. As long as I'm not out in the streets doing nothing with my life. I feel great that they're not out in the street doing something that they're not supposed to. We see the kids changing. We see the parents changing. Parents that weren't engaging with their kids are engaging with their kids today. We're getting referrals from the court. We're getting referrals from probation. Teachers are sponsoring their youth to come here. So we see that we're having an effect in our community. When I come here, I feel like I'm a different person. I'm Jonathan, I'm a boxer. I'm here to get the job done, whether it's, whether I have to sweat, cry, whatever. I might not see the result in a week or so, but I know something is happening inside when I see their, their smile in their face. I think God has a big plan for me. And if not, he would've never brought me into the double punch. For him to do what he did, and for me to become better and better, I have to thank him for that. <laughs>